What's up guys, Shane Starnes here. I've got an Honor 8X here that I'm just not able to get into because I don't have the pin code. It's been so long since I've used this phone that I don't remember the pin code. How do you get into a phone if you don't remember the passcode? There's actually a way that you can bypass the unlock screen on any Android device. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Big shout outs to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. So if I go to the phone here, if I try to get into it, of course it's going to ask for my pin code. I don't remember this pin code. So to get into this phone, we're going to use a product by Wondershare called Dr. Phone Screen Unlock. For Android, they also have an iOS version. So you can do this for Android or iOS, but today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Android version. All right, so you're gonna to head to the link in the description. That's going to bring you to the Dr. Phone Screen Unlock download. And uh, this is for Android, but they also have iOS here. This is going to help you to get by any lock screen. So whether that's a pin code, a password, if you have a fingerprint unlock or a face unlock or a gesture unlock, you'll be able to get by any lock screen that is on your phone. You can also go to this website here to check all the devices that can be unlocked without data loss. So in most cases, this will be able to bypass the lock screen without actually totally wiping your phone, which is a major plus. All right, so the first thing we'll do here is we'll go ahead and download the software. All right, so you're going to go ahead and launch the Dr. Phone software here, and we're looking for this option that says screen unlock. So we'll go ahead and click on the screen unlock option to launch the unlocking tool. Uh, various options here, you can unlock an Android screen, unlock iOS screen, or unlock an Apple ID. We're gonna go for the unlock Android screen. It says please connect your device to the PC. So we're gonna go ahead and with our USB connector, we'll go ahead and connect this to our PC. All right, so automatically it's going to recognize our phone and prepare for removing the lock screen. This is automatically able to match the model successfully. It's going to go ahead and establish phone environment successfully. All right, now it has downloaded the configuration file successfully. All right, since the configuration file is complete, removing the screen lock will erase data on your device. If you have logged into a Google account or device manufacturer account, such as a Samsung account, make sure you have your own account and remember the password. Otherwise, you may need to enter account and password to get into the system after removing the lock screen. So we're gonna go ahead and choose this option to unlock now. All right, so this says to turn off the device. Once the device is turned off, we're going to press volume up plus the power button for a few seconds. Once we see the Huawei logo, we'll go ahead and release all buttons. All right, it says then we will enter the recovery mode successfully. Once you see that you're in the recovery mode on your phone, go ahead and select the next button. All right, so this is just walking us through the process of factory resetting your phone from the recovery menu. It says to select wipe data factory reset using volume buttons to navigate and power buttons to confirm. So over here, we're going to confirm the operation by tapping yes. So you'll type yes in and then select wipe data factory reset. Once you've given that a few minutes to go through the process, you'll select wipe cache partition and then you will reboot the system. Once the process is finished, you'll see the screen here that says unlocked successfully. You now should be able to access your phone without the lock screen. All right, so on the Honor 8X, we are past the lock screen. It has been wiped. Uh, so for some reason, you do forget your passcode on an Honor 8X. Specifically, it will have to wipe your data. There are several other models where it won't wipe the data. So you'll just have to kind of go to that link in the description to check and make sure that it won't wipe your data. Even then, being able to access your phone, even if it did have to wipe the data, uh, that would be better than not being able to use your phone at all. So once again, big shout outs to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.